So, hello friends, today I have a very special video and it is about uh, fungus in lenses, which is probably the most dreaded thing by photographers. But uh, what you get exactly, you have this thing, you have this sort of shiny filaments grow into, into a lens, and then, and this is usually the better look and you get at it, uh, before throwing your lenses or opening it uh, for cleaning. But then, today I propose you something different. I'm going to take a really, really close-up of these, um, these lenses. Well, not, the, not, not only this one, two other ones. Uh, because uh, ah, so far in the three years I have been doing repairs on lenses, I have noticed three types of uh, fungus. This one, which is for me the most usual. Then one who looks like points and then grows like in the middle of the lens. And then the other type, um, which goes, which grows in between uh, cemented elements, and this is the worst one. Uh, but I'm not even sure if that it is a fungus. So we're going to take a really close look at this. We'll see also that it's rather beautiful as well. And then um, first uh, with a, a macro lens, and then after we're going to take a look at that uh, on the microscope. So. Uh, Let's go to the images and then uh, enjoy the video. So, hello again, and uh, this is uh, the first type of fungus I just spoke to you about, and it is the most common. I would say nine times over ten, this is the one and you get in a lens which has fungus the other ones are a bit more rare so uh, okay see this is how it looks like I'm using a sort of a dark field uh, illumination in order to to get it uh, to glow and get a nice view now I'm going to to zoom a bit more into it so uh, I'm able to do this in macro because I'm using uh, the one which is my favorite lens, which is the Micronicor uh, uh, 70 It is not a very well-known lens, but it's a zoom, which uh, is able to zoom in macro, as I just did. And then and you can see uh, a really close-up of the fungus. So let me rotate for you uh, uh, the sample. So you see. The fungus we just saw before uh, on the lens and really really nice magnification and then uh, well thing is I uh, kind of appreciate it because it's quite beautiful the patterns they create uh, I know it is a disaster for the lens but uh, uh, usually most of the time uh, this lens are uh, this fungus is really really easy to remove from the from the lens. Sometimes the most difficult part is just opening the lens. And uh, okay, so this is it for the first one. So uh, this is the second type of fungus, and uh, it looks rather very differently from the one we just saw before. It has some uh, kind of uh, yeah, tendrils uh, of filaments that come out, uh, but they're not. Uh, the extension is not uh, as before. We can even take a closer look to see uh, to see it. Okay, yeah, the amount of the vibration because we a rather high magnification. I had to apply uh, two times to the converter uh, because uh, I wa it wasn't big enough as before. And then, um, yeah, look the shape, it's very, very different as before. And then, uh, yeah, the alien head or the skull, <laughs> which is in the middle of the fungus, doesn't mean that uh, your lens is dead. So, this is it, we're going to take a look after that in, in the microscope to get a better idea. What I think now is rather interesting to see. So uh, now we move to the third type. So uh, 
So um, this is finally the third type of uh, fungus that appears into a lens. This one is really, really, really annoying because this one is growing uh, in between two cemented elements. Well, the exterior is cemented, uh, the space in between is glue, but then you can see that uh, there it, it, the fungus is growing uh, between the two two lenses. And then this one um, is really, really, really difficult to, to fix. Actually, uh, from the lens I got it. I I found better getting a donor lens and replacing the front element. Um, okay, so it has a shape. Uh, again, we have these filaments who grow um, starting from the middle of the lens. Um, but then uh, I am not hundred percent sure that it's fungus actually. So uh, we can take a closer look. But then, um, yeah, we don't see anything more. So probably under the microscope uh, we'll see something better. Uh, then uh, the other thing uh, that you see there is uh, the. Really, really, really small dots, and then, and this I think is just separation, so it is related to the fungus. Uh, I don't know, but then you, you see that the, the glue in between the, the two elements is degrading, and then uh, you have lens separation. Okay, so uh, this is it for the three types in of uh, fungus in macro. Now we're going to take a look at them in under the microscope to see if we learn um, something more so this is the first type of uh, fungus uh, so the one that grows with filaments and the one that is very common in most lenses which has which have fungus and then uh, this is the minimum magnification you can reach uh, with my microscope uh, so here you have the the patterns as we have uh, before. So interesting thing here on the microscope since I have two sources of light I can see something interesting then we have these little yellow dots which are I believe uh, the spores of the fungus and then uh, if I show the second light uh, you have all the growths so then spores and then the growth of the fungus and then if we go deep into the magnification um, so we start seeing some stuff I don't know if interesting or not but uh, up to you to decide so here we have uh, again the spores and then a little growth of the fungus and then if I go really 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 into big magnification we can see how the the spores are well not the spores are, the tendrils are uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, this I have to be sure, I have to clean to, to make sure uh, if it is uh, the spores which are uh, just damaging the coating or um, something else, this I'm not sure. Well, here we have a spore in the neighborhood. Okay, let's go down to maximum magnification I'm going to see if we see something interesting okay this is the maximum magnification I have and yeah this is how the fungus in your lens look like at a rather high magnification so this is it for this lens and this for this type of fungus.
So this is the second type of fungus. Uh, the first thing um, I have to say is I started with a slightly larger magnification because uh, yeah, uh, this thing was really small in the beginning and then um, things I can see now and you can see as well or is that uh, this growth is rather different so well still it has still some tendrils and some and stuff like that but uh, what uh, I cannot find um, is uh, there is no spore, spores uh, that uh, that indicate uh, that this fungus is uh, further growing so it is dead uh, I don't know because this was the only one in, in that lens and in the objective itself this is this was the only fungus I found so I guess the the growth point is uh, should be that uh, that round thing in in, in the center. I don't I don't know. Uh, and then well, the other thing we see is that the alien or alien head or skull is uh, gone. But uh, it has a rather interesting pattern. But. Uh, I'm not an expert, so I cannot tell if this fungus is the same as the other one. It doesn't look similar under the microscope, but yeah, that's up to the experts to say. But then, uh, now you know how it looks uh, really close, this type of fungus, uh, when it appears into a lens. So now we proceed to the last uh, type of uh, fungus. So this is the third and last uh, type of uh, fungus growth that we can see here with the separation. Uh, but uh, I'm not I'm not very sure if this thing is actually a fungus. So let's take a, a closer look. Um, this uh, just to to know what it is. Uh, Okay, so again, this is the maximum magnification I can reach. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. This is it. So this is the maximum magnification I can reach. And then uh, here, uh, very, very, very hard to tell what it is. This is the fungus, the glue, which is just degrading. Uh, then uh, we have the, the separation, which is just these very small points. Um, but then, honestly, I don't know. But anyway, this is uh, the way it looks. Uh, so let's go back again a bit. Uh, so for you to see a bit the separation as well. Uh, but then, honestly, I have no idea what it is. But this is the way it looks. Uh, so. Those are the three types I have seen so far in three years uh, fixing lenses. And if I get to know something else, I will make an additional video. But so far, this is it. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.